This is it, the start of a new chapter. Lone Oak, welcome to Lone Oak. I'm actually on my way to my farm that I purchased, and I just picked up this F-350 Dually Single Cab 2015 with a 6.7 liter turbo V8 power stroke. I got a flatbed, I got gooseneck, I got, you know, mud flaps. Look at those babies. But we are, uh, we're rocking and rolling. I, this gentleman, <laughs> I'm kind of weird that I'm starting this video off in another guy's front yard or driveway i just picked this up this was a craigslist deal turned out to be a pretty good deal I, I think i got a pretty good deal hopefully uh nothing's too like broken in here that i gotta fix but welcome this is lone oaks i am on my way down to my farm and that's what we're gonna be doing we're gonna be driving to the farm starting it giving myself and and you guys the tour so welcome welcome this is the start of a new chapter of our role play farming series mostly role play but there will be quite a bit of farming within it so a lot of you guys told me in the comments i try and read almost every single comment uh and res respond to ones that i feel like i should respond to but a lot of you said that i should be joining the squad's role play series down at country line or my brother grant the squad you got a lot of you guys were like go join him okay what the heck is this tractor doing Get out of the way here but we aren't we are starting our own at most i'll probably go over there help them out on a few things or a few cool videos that we make or something so be looking out for that but for those who wanted me to join his uh his role play series and join buck and everybody i i'm just not right now so we're this is lone oak farms and we are heading down in my new f-350 super duty boys this is uh it, it should be really good towing um, yeah, um, it's a turbo, you know, what do you expect? It's a power stroke, so we're on our way down to the farm. Excited to show you guys what we have in store. We're going to mainly run uh, smaller equipment. I mean, not smaller equipment, smaller, older equipment, similar to our last farm, but we're going to take a different plan. I don't know if we're going to do cows. Honestly, right now, I don't have a super solid plan on livestock, either pigs, cows. I was going to... We'll see. We'll see. I, I do want to have chickens. I think that's fun. And in the name of Chow, of course, guys, we have to have chickens for Chow. So, that actually ran. That was kind of cool. Anyway, we are on it. Maybe it didn't, but it sounded good. We're on our way down to the farm. And if I can drive, that would help also. Should be a right turn. I actually missed our turn. Is this it right here? Is this it? There it is. Farm, farm, road. I believe this is it. We're here, guys. I've only seen this place two, three times. There's a bunch on the internet, but I believe we are here on our way down to the farm. So this is going to be our neighbor, Farm Boy, I believe is his name. I I called him on the on the cellular device, asked him, you know, some crop information that he's had over, you know, the past 10 years, see what the soil's like, get his first-hand response. But here is the farm. Look at it, boys. This is this is a it's a bit bigger than our old farm, but it it was actually cheaper. Surprisingly enough, it was cheaper so let's go ahead and pull in and here it is we have we have plenty of land i actually haven't officially purchased the fields i'm gonna see exactly what i want and need here it is here's the house we already got our dog look at it we got a black lab wait no it's not a lab it's like a boxer i believe i'm not good with dogs for all the dog lovers out there actually what is what is the breed of this dog? It, it, it's like i am never had a dog my whole entire life. I actually never had a pet besides fish. But what is the breed of this dog? Let me know in the comments. Actually interested because we always have, you know, the dog, the Rex or whatever you want to call him. Uh, we'll get a name for him. So, but not right now. Also come with the name. But here it is. Here's the house. This is where we're going to do, you know, miscellaneous kind of work. And then here we got a little garden for the wife. Okay, but... This is a pretty big. This is a very big garden for like like a garden in your yard. That's huge. Uh, and then we have a chicken pen here. We'll see what we're gonna do with this. We'll continue that. But yeah, this is all coming with it. The machine shop. Can't wait to show you guys that. So cool. Let's go ahead and crack all the barn doors open. All right. So here's this. Of course, your iconic, you know, red barn. There it is. I believe it's a feeder barn or some sort of livestock barn. I actually didn't. I'm, I'm most likely, okay, you can have cattle here. I'm most likely not going to be using this for anything. Maybe long-term storage, possibly pretty tall roofs, actually. Um, or <laughs> tall roofs, ceilings, like beams. So pretty pretty wide in here. Uh, actually, that's pretty small. But maybe we'll use that for, you know, long-term storage. So we have some smaller storage areas here. Not. We'll see what we can do there. 
huge, huge fuel tank capacity. And then here's the shop, boys. Here's the shop. We got cameras, we got lights, we got the whole nine yards. Check it out. This is full on, full go. We're gonna have our cousins coming down too. We're gonna have helpers, neighbors, always helping out and we'll help neighbors out as well. But beautiful, we got plenty of grain storage on the farm. Let's go ahead and I think, okay, so here's here's obviously the main. Look at this, boys. Look at this. We could act, like we could store like grain in here too, I think, if we could, I don't know. Plenty of area for pallets and all kind of maybe miscellaneous things as well. And then all this ground too. So once this grass starts to grow, we might do hay with it too. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll probably do hay with it. Kind of junk from the old owner of this farm. I believe it was an older gentleman and he passed away. Then the family sold it off. So like this was his estate. So here is more. We can use this for grain storage. We can use it for silage. We can use it for, you know, storing quite a bit of things. Okay, here's an awesome silage bunker too. Let's go, baby. Silage bunker. That thing is huge. A little crusty. Might need to power off, power wash the cement for sure. But here is the farm. I'm going to quickly do a flyover and hopefully you guys enjoy. So if you guys see from the map here, we have field 33, 41, 42, 34, 35. That is relatively close. And then this right here is uh, state owned. So it's, it's I believe, like a forest reservation. It's not a field. So we wouldn't really need to own it. But uh, we will have a little, I mean, not a little bit, but a little drive over technically. So I was thinking as of right now. So right now we have $5.4 million. So... This is the money that we have after paying off all of our loans. Now, we had quite a bit more money when we were starting off Chippewa. I sold that farm. So, we're three farms in technically. I have 5.4 million. Technically, I lost about $600,000 from the once everything was done, closing. Like, there's so many fees when you like sell big land and like closing costs and all that, and money gets lost. And the track that's even a tough chore, too. So, I was. Thinking about just going at 3341 right now. I'm gonna go out to the fields and look at them. All right, so this is field 41. It is it is just grass. I'm gonna, of course, I would plow it up, uh, but that would be a lot of work in and of itself. So I was thinking, you know, this is already plowed out. This is ready. It's not ready to go, obviously, but it is a like a field with middle lot less work than 41. And this is field 42. So I was thinking. These are all grass fields right here. I was thinking maybe 41, 42. I will have to plow a very large field. 41 is is very large. And I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. These these are large fields. And we'll kind of see. We'll see what we can get. What type of equipment we can get our hands on. The next thing I want to do. As we came in this morning. You guys saw the dealership. There's a crazy John Deere dealership. There's new used. There's everything in between. I want to head down there. But first... I heard about like their website that they made like th this this dealership they have like I mean I'll, a lot of John Deere dealerships have websites but this one has like in particular a really nice one so I'm gonna pull it up before like I head down there I can see what they have for sale like who's who their hours and stuff so I'm gonna pull it up real quick all right so here it is Lone Oak equipment and sales so pretty pretty cool website that they actually have up it's as a farmer like a lot of people don't think they we use technology but I don't know it's pretty cool and kind of want to show you guys. They have absolutely everything all the way. Yeah, they, they literally have stand on lawnmowers all the way to the biggest, like a 9RX or something crazy like that. So here, to, yeah, you got cat challengers that are used, used John Deere 9660. So this is where we're going to get probably 90% of our equipment. If you look here, we have all this. So really cool stuff. And then the sales manager, I believe that's who he is. Oh, uh, yeah. So we look harvesters. They have two harvesters down there. They're both new. So. We'll see what we do on that of course they probably have used that are coming in and out all the time and stuff but i'm gonna head and see you can even like sort it so pretty cool we are what else they got skid loaders so gotta at um so what we're gonna do pretty much i i use that so though when i roll in there i know what's going on about 
sales company. We offer the best price with the best customer satisfaction. We will test that. Like the sales manager is Zach. So let's go head down and see Zach. Another thing I forgot to tell you guys is that there's, I mean, I, you probably noticed it, but there is a auxiliary tank on the back. So it, it's illegal. It has the baffles where I can directly feed the auxiliary tank diesel, obviously right into, right into the girl here, right into the power stroke. So that's super nice, especially like when we're towing, going long trips, you know, say we're picking up something, trying to go sell one of our pieces of equipment. All right, so here it is. Check it out. Again, I needed... They didn't even move that. I thought somebody was in that. Anyway, they literally have a tractor in the street. I'm going to let them know it is It is a weekend, so maybe... They, the hour said they're open, but maybe they have, like, low staff or something. All right, so, I mean, like I was saying, on the website, they look, they have... I love these mowers. These are GS45s. I've ran these before. Beautiful, beautiful mowers. They're, I think you can have stand-ons. Anyway, I'm not in the... I'm not in the market for mowers. We're in the market for tractors and everything in between. I wonder if they do. So this is their shop. They work on things here. Okay, so they, there's there's one of the cat skid loaders. Very cool. Okay, so the, see, they do have other things that like aren't on the website. Yeah, so you got a Turbo 8820. This thing's a beast. Look at that. Duels in the front. Wow, that you don't see that too often. That might be something that we're going after. I'll have to see the price on that. Oh, here it is. I wonder I wonder if the owner lives right there. I wonder if the owner lives right there. So, yeah, we are uh, we're checking it out for sure. This is pretty cool stuff. Uh, quite a bit of step up from the dealership that was in Chippewa for sure. Holy cow. Then there's a case right across the way. So, John Deere case. Like I said, we're going to go 90% John Deere dealership. This looks quite a bit more professional. And it's funny how... They are like right next to each other. So yeah, Case IH, Manning of Mannings of Lone Oak. And then you got a diner right over there, which whoever's pickup that is, that is super cool. But guys, welcome to Lone Oak. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, talk to the salesman, see if he can show me around a little bit. All right, so I was just looking at the 9460R. This is like a full step up. Remember, so we had the, obviously you remember, we had the Case Tiger back at the old farm in Chippewa. And I was just, this reminded me of the setup. Like if the Steiger compared to this 92, like insanely, insanely different way. I, I want to know the prices and stuff. So, all right, there's a salesman. It seems like he's running around. I, I'm going to flag him down. How's it going, sir? How's it going? Pretty good. You I just got some new equipment. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I, I actually am uh, looking around. I just moved in. Here to here to Lone Oak, so I'm a uh, I'm a new farmer. The Lone Oak, you're gonna like it here. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, the deal dealership looks really nice. I noticed when I pulled in. Uh, here, you guys actually have a tractor. Like, I don't know if something happened or what, or you're trying to really advertise and get out there on the streets, but you have like a tractor in the road. Yeah, that thing's. I don't know. That one always wants to run away from us. I think he okay. wants to be bought. So. He, he wants to be okay. I, I thought maybe it was some like the marketing deal that you guys are trying to do literally throwing tractors in the middle. Yeah, you right? actually um, you gotta dead in it and move it. Oh. And then it makes you want to you know, then when I it, get so. in it, then I yep, I got you. Yeah. I swipe my uh, write a check before I yep, you gotta put the I... checkbook right on a, another tractor and I come <laughs> and pick it up and gotcha. we're all done. Well, what's your name by the way? I'm uh, Zach. Zach, nice to meet you. Right, what's your position here? I am the actual. I'm actually the owner here. Cool. Owner. Um, do you live in that house right there? I was. I was just joking about. In my, I was just thinking. You know, like what? Are, I bet the owner lives in that house right there. Yep, that's my house. All right, that's what I'm guessing. Like usually, big businesses like this, usually the owner, or like the manager, or whoever, uh, lives right next to it, so they can just run back and forth. So, cool. Nice to meet yep. you, Zach. My name's. Spencer, I moved uh, on Farm Farm Lane. It's it's just west of here, so not too far. And I came up and, and wanted to check out what you guys had. All right. Well, uh, yeah, thank you for showing me around. I'm not used to this kind of dealership, so I, I'm going to be coming to you guys a lot. I'll, I should probably be giving you guys, like, my contact info and stuff. And if I can get all your guys' stuff. I saw your website. That was really cool, too. Um, yep. Everything that that's on the website we have here. Okay. So... Whatever you see on there that you like and you want to buy, you can come down here and pick it up. Cool, cool, cool. cool. Thank you very much. I'm I'm going to be on my way here today. But, yeah, thank you very much, Zach. And, yeah, I'll talk, yeah, to, you. No talk problem. to you later for sure.
All right, so that was a pretty nice guy. He was like the sales manager of this. Or no, he was the sales. He was the owner. What am I saying? He was the owner. So let's go ahead and head out. Boys, that 350 is looking good. We got it's it's white, by the way. Um, I know. So I initially I thought from far ways away when you look at the when you look at the chrome in the front of the Super Duty Chrome, it does look like a little like maybe beige or maybe like a light silver or something. I don't know, but it is it is white. So. Let's head back to the farm, do a few more things, kind of look around, and then that's going to wrap it up for today. All right, so as I was driving back, I was kind of paying attention to that field up there. And let me go ahead and pull up the map. What is that? That's 33, so like half of... Wait, no, never mind. Wrong. Never mind. That's actually... That's 28. That's that's actually like plantable right now. Not, doesn't need to be plowed or... Uh, the soil doesn't need to be like reconfigured, so never mind. It's the only one, yeah, what am I saying? The only one's 42. So for sure we're gonna buy 42 and then possibly 41. We'll see, I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll for sure have to see. We're gonna have to get some big equipment if we wanna be running both those fields. And uh, we have the money for it right now, but we'll see you guys. Go ahead in the comments, let me know what you like about the farm, what you don't, what you want us to do in the future. What should we plant? What livestock should we have? John Deere, Case. Maybe some model numbers too on uh, on what kind of tractors we should get. So thank you guys so much for watching. This is episode one, Lone Oak Farms roleplay. There there will be so much more than just farming on this map in in the episodes to come. So be if you if you don't like me farming, which I understand, I'm not the best farmer. I try not like I say I'm not. So I understand, but we'll be doing so much more than just farming. So if you guys are new to the channel, please subscribe, like if you haven't already. And I will see you all in the next one.